Hello dear students. In EVS, we have started a new chapter. Chapter 3. Plant Life. Parts of a Plant. Children, in the previous class, you had studied the parts of plant. Namely, roots, stem, flower, fruit, leaf, etc. But in this class, we will come to know about the broad divisions of the parts of the plant. Let us have a look. All the parts of the plant that we have learnt can be broadly divided into two parts. One is the root system which is underground and comprises of the root. The other is the shoot system which is above the ground and it comprises of all the other parts including stems, leaves, flowers, fruits, etc. So dear students, you know now that the root system is the part of the plant below the ground and the part of the plant above the ground is the shoot system and it is made up of flower, leaf, fruit, stem, etc. So this is how we now know the parts of a plant. We will first learn about the root system that is the roots of a plant and its various types. Roots are mainly of two types. First is the tap root. The second is the fibrous root. You can see in this picture a tap root and a fibrous root. In this picture also, you can see various types of tap roots and fibrous roots. Let us first learn about the tap root. The tap root is the main root of the plant that goes deep into the soil. It is thick and grows downwards. Its main root has many branches that spread out. Examples are neem and people. We also have tuberous roots. These are special type of tap roots which have enlarged roots to store large quantity of food. We generally use and eat these roots. Example radish, turnip, carrot and beetroot. You can see in this picture the various examples of tap roots and tuberous roots like carrot, radish, beetroot, turnip etc. They have one main root and the other branches spread out from the main root and tuberous roots like radish and carrots are thick as they store the extra food. Next is the fibrous roots. Fibrous roots do not have branches but have a group of nearly equal sized roots that spread out from the base of the stem in all directions. They do not go very deep. Examples are wheat, rice, coconut tree, etc. Here you can see some examples of fibrous roots. They look like fibers or ropes, isn't it? They are very thin and they usually start from the tip of the stem and spread out like small threads. Another type of root is aerial roots. The roots that grow downwards from the branches towards the ground are called aerial roots. These roots hanging in the air and are not covered by soil. Examples are banyan tree, strangler figs, etc. You can see some images of aerial roots. They are above the grounds and are hanging from the branches. 
Now let us look at the functions of roots. Root fixes the plant firmly into the ground. They hold the plant firmly to the ground by spreading out in the soil. Roots absorb water and minerals from the soil and pass them to the other parts. Roots bind the soil so that it is not blown away by the wind or washed away by the water. Roots store food for the plant in plants like carrot, radish etc. which have thick and swollen roots. Thank you children.